Is the 2006, the original Mac Pro, still usable and relevant in 2018? I would argue that it is. Uh, these things were pretty expandable back in the day. As you can see, I've got a GTX 660 Ti in here. Uh, it's got power cords coming for it, so it's got the power for it. It's got one heck of a power supply in this thing. Um, I've got a solid state drive in here, just kind of hanging off the SATA ports. These are the hard drive slots. I just took one out. Um, it's got 32 gigs of ECC RAM. and So let me start by saying, uh, let's talk about the price. I bought this thing a year ago. Uh, it was $100 for the whole system. The, they're selling them as just uh, as is, case only kind of things. If it works, you're lucky kind of thing. Um, it came with a completely useless uh, GeForce uh, 7500 or something like that, 7500 GT, I believe. Um, doesn't doesn't work in anything anymore. No, none of the newer operating systems support it. Not Windows, not OS 10. So. Um, it came with like 12 gigs of RAM, that video card, and it had a pair of dual core uh, 2.66 gigahertz processors. So it was quad core total 2.66 gigahertz. So first thing I did was I hopped online and this RAM being ECC can't be used in normal PCs, but there was a lot of it used in servers over the years. So I picked up, um, how many sticks was it? Ah, let's pull. The RAM goes in on these little cards eight sticks so I bought eight sticks of uh, four gig sticks so I ended up with 32 gigs of RAM when this thing shipped um, Apple didn't allow them to run or didn't think they could run more than 16 gigs there was a later uh, firmware update thanks Apple that uh, allowed these things to run 32 gigs of RAM um, so th those 32 gigs of RAM 50 bucks it's still 50 bucks today even with the crazy RAM prices where that would be like $400 worth of DDR4, $300 worth of DDR3. This is ECC DDR2, 50 bucks, 32 gigs. Um, find it day and night on eBay because everybody's surplusing their old servers. Same thing with the CPUs. I bought the best processors this thing could support. I believe they're Xeon uh, 5365s. Um, either whatever they are, they're um, three, three gigahertz, and uh, quad core each so this thing is an eight core machine with 32 gigs of ram and a pretty hot process uh, video card i could toss a 1080 ti in here and this thing would take it no problem but uh 660 i picked up that video card for oh speaking okay so i picked up the video card for 50 bucks um these processors these two processors i also got those for 50 bucks on ebay shipped so 100 dollar computer $50 processor upgrade, $50 RAM upgrade. Both of these are the max it can take. So it's the max processor it can take and the max RAM it can take and a $50 video card. So we're into this, what, 250 bucks? And it's a screaming system now. Oh, and then you can count the SSD if you'd like. It's only a 120 gig because that's what I had laying around. But I mean, 70 bucks to get you a uh, 250 gig nowadays. So yeah, now, not only does can this thing be updated to uh, support more of a hack, it can be hacked to run El Capitan, which I did, um, but it can also run Windows 10, 64-bit Windows 10 with a couple of hacks that are uh, posted on eBay. Uh, you can, or not eBay, but um, a couple of hacks that are posted on YouTube. So feel free to look those up sometime if you've got one of these and you want to run Windows 10 on it. Um, yeah, I just got done uh, working around a little problem with El Capitan. Uh, Apple has uh, patched for the uh, Meltdown and Spectre bugs, but uh, that patch does not work with this old processor. because and, and of course it doesn't. They didn't expect anybody with these machines to still be running El Capitan. This thing actually lost official Apple support with uh, OS uh, X 10.7. Um, so I've been able to push it to uh, 10.11 thanks to uh, Piker's mod. Um, it's a patch EFI bootloader that gets around the 32-bit uh, EFI this thing has. Gets the 64-bit operating system to load on these 64-bit processors. 
So anyways, yeah, this is a good machine still to this day. I'll uh, shoot some uh, boot up sequence. Um, because it's got an unsupported graphics card, we get no video on the display until it boots, but uh, or until the process, until the operating system loads and brings up the uh, web drivers for the video card. But uh, let's let's watch it boot anyways. All right, let's go ahead and hit the power button. Okay, it has come on. Now the display, like I said, it's going to take a little minute. We'll hear the system chime in a moment here. There we go. And uh, this will give us a boot time from that chime until the operating system appears on the screen. There we go. So that boot time was what? 15, 20 seconds? Okay, well, pick me. Oh, hard to type while I'm holding the camera. Oh, there we go. Up and running. Updates have installed. Yep, yep. Interesting about that updates. I've got the auto updates turned off and it still forced that last security patch for <gasps> Spectre in. And my daughter just noticed I fixed her computer. And here's Chrome. Let's not restore this stuff. Let's um, close, close. Uh, let's see, we'll check on my server. Server. Yes. So you can see, this thing is rocking nice and fast. So where'd my mouse go? There we are. All right, log in. Link. There's my server. Wonderful machine. Cool. Um, let's pull up a, uh, a heavy website. Um, CNN.com. A nice heavy website, probably. Ta-da! We're still running the latest and greatest... Uh, Chrome on here because oh let's um let's go and see the system specs about this Mac. El Capitan 1011 6 2 by 3 gigahertz quad core so we got eight cores 32 gigs of RAM G4 660 Ti uh, let's go memory say so we've got the eight sticks of four gig storage We've got a mechanical hard drive tossed in here, and you can see we're not using it at all. Um, displays, see the display. Yeah, that's everything. So, cool. Um, system report. Let's see if there's anything more in system report. Mm -hmm. um, I updated the firmware in this to Mac Pro 2.1. So that'll be the latest uh, firmware for it now. Uh, boot ROM version. Um, SMC. I think I still need to update the SMC. Apparently there's a newer SMC that I should have flashed along with the uh, firmware for 2.1. It's supposed to help with the fan speed, so I'm going to look into that soon. 1.33 gigahertz bus speed. Yep, yep. So everything works. Um, there's even a, um, you can toss in Bluetooth 4.1 and uh, 802.11.n into this thing. Um, Right now it doesn't have either because uh, this particular machine did come with it. And I, I, the, the device costs a fair amount. I think it was another 50 bucks for that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And everything's hardwired here, so I didn't see a need to do that. But if I really truly wanted to max this thing out, that's what I would do. It's also got a lot of uh, PCI Express port, uh, yeah, slots. So I could toss in a um, NVMe um, card uh, adapter and we could really be rocking this thing at higher speed. But, uh, yeah, this thing's quite nice. Uh, SSD. Cool. So, is a uh, Mac Pro still relevant in 2018? Yes, yes it is. Um, I've got, I've played Steam games on this thing. It, it does no problem. I don't think I have any installed right now. It plays Minecraft. She, my daughter plays Minecraft on this thing constantly. It has no problem with that. I do have Steam installed, but I don't think I have any games installed actively. 
Yep. Yep. So yeah, a uh, virtual box. It'll it'll run pro, um, Windows in a VM, no problem, because this processor supports that. Uh, it, it's a great machine still, and for 250 bucks, if you want it maxed out, it's a heck of a heck of a deal. I love that they, that they made these things so expandable back in the day, and man, is it reliable. It's what 12 years old now, so it's still going. Thanks for watching my video. Like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. Maybe I'll post some more. If uh, and leave some comments if you liked this, because uh, normally my content is uh, motorcycle related. So if you're into this kind of thing, I'll post some of this too. Uh, but like and subscribe. Thanks.